everybody it is tuesday and it's two o'clock so that means it is time for top five tuesday i'm here from crate insider i'm kate dillon and i am your host so as people are joining in let's look at what we're going to, what we're going to give away this week and what we're giving away is we have a white crate insider t-shirt right here so i have these in multiple sizes pretty much i mean i just adult sizes like small through 4x and i have those available so to win the giveaway then all you need to do is you just leave a comment you can say hi you can leave an emoticon any of those things and just so you register a comment i don't i'm not big on like calling people out if i just see that they're on i want to make sure that they want to be called out <laughs> so if you'd like to win the shirt and then also we have another giveaway too um, and that is, if you remember what my sign said last week, then go ahead and drop that in, in as a comment. And we'll do a separate drawing for that as well. And with that drawing, I'm also going to give away a white Crate Insider t-shirt. I guess I could show you where the logo is. Hey, there we go. Yeah, product placement. <laughs> when it's your company, you can place the products however you want. But, you know, I, I decided on this sign this week because it really... I was trying to think, what do I put on my sign? And and let me know if you guys think I should maybe put out a survey or do a contest for what should be on my sign because I'm kind of run out, running out of ideas. But um, this morning I was making coffee and I was like, what am I going to put on my sign? And I was like, man, something about winning, you know, because winning is really, I mean, winning's my thing because it's true. Winning is my thing. Um, I have groups on Facebook, you know, depending on what you're interested in. I have Winning Motorsports Marketing, which is talks about racing and sponsorships. I have another group called Winning with E-commerce, where I talk about e-commerce and marketing. Obviously, I love marketing. And obviously, the, the biggest reason why I love working with Crate Insider and doing what I do here is because winning for one person just isn't enough. I want to help a whole bunch of people win. And that's you. That's you, my customers. Um, so I'm all about for trying to find the things that are going to help you win. I also want to help you survive in order to win. So one of the things that, in case you missed it, is this week I posted a video um, that where I spoke at a race logic chassis seminar. And in that seminar, the reason I went was to talk a little bit about fire suppression. So I just want to highlight a couple of the products that I talked about in that video. I um, mean, you can check it out. We'll have links to all this stuff it's getting hung up here hang on <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on a live video <laughs> but what we're talking about today is this is one of my favorite um, fire suppression systems this is the amrc 1002 this one is both manual and automatic and and you can go into more details watching that video but automatic means that on here um, that these, these end of this has a little sensor in it. Well, it has a glass tube. It'll break at 170 degrees. It'll set the system off automatically. So even if you're unconscious and then manual for, refers to the fact that you can pull a cord and that will make the system go off. So this is happens to be the AMRC 1002. It's a 10 pound system, but I have other systems also from fire bottle. That was one way because I do, like I said, I want you guys to survive in order to win and Fire is certainly always a threat. Oh, my video is blurry. Okay, great. You know what? Since my video is blurry, hmm, um, hang on. It's blurry. Okay, great. I'm going to probably jump off and jump right back on to continue where I, I'll just pick up where I left off. Um, so bear with me just a moment and I will be right back. Hey there, I am back. I am back. Apparently my video is blurry and um, so I restarted my computer and just took a long time. So I apologize for being gone. I'm going to let some folks jump on here. And um, so yeah, we're going to go. I'm not going to restart the entire everything I was saying, but I am going to just pick up right from where I left off. And we were talking a little bit about fire suppression and, you know, preventing fire would be my next thing I want to talk about. And in that video from Race Logic, I, in addition to talking about the, uh, the fire suppression system from fire bottle. I also talk about Willie's rollover plates. Whoa, that was weird on the car camera. Sorry about that. But um, if you haven't seen these before, the idea is this is attached between your carburetor body and your metering block. And when you actually, when you actually go upside down, I want you to see, can you watch these little holes right here? 
is see there's the little stainless steel discs in there that will prevent the idea here is it'll block off the fuel and so that your carburetor can't leak fuel and contribute to a file fire so a fantastic product and oh for the fire bottle i want to mention that that system that i was showing you runs 79432 and the Willie's rollover roll plates, if you're getting it for a two-barrel carburetor, and it's a whole kit. So it's a whole kit that comes with gaskets and bolts, you know, because you'll need longer boat bolts for because you're increasing the size from your metering blocks to your to your main body of your carburetor. So it's got a whole kit. And if you need it for a two-barrel carburetor, it runs $129.95. Or if you need it for a four-barrel carburetor, because then you would have one on either side. So you'd need, you know, two sets of these. That runs $294.85. And uh, so anyway, great product. We we love them. Um, great way to keep stay safe. Now let's talk a little bit about some updates too. You may have seen, we uh, brought on, we brought back Where's Wesley, Where's Wesley segments. So Where's Wesley, we did that at PRI. So my great friend Wesley Outland is now in Florida at Speed Weeks. And so last week he was at Screven. And then coming up, he's going to be at some, several other tracks reporting, um, doing some live interviews. Uh, I, I loved how he was at the concessions at Screven. Um, now, I don't know if you saw the PRI videos, but at one point he was in the coat room, you know, like the coat check area, and he thought he was in apparel, and it was probably the funniest thing I've seen in a really long time. So one thing about racetracks, they don't really have any like coat check areas. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'll be really interested to see the interesting places that Wesley finds in these Where's Wesley segments, because that'll be a lot of fun. And then another update is last week we released a video where we talked with Jay from FK Rodins, and he was able to talk to us a little bit about the the rod ends because of course we love who doesn't love fk rod ends i mean are they they're just amazing um great products just great people great all the way around so i'm going to take a look at some comments here and holy crap we've got oh good so here way better now and a lot of people knew my sign from last week Gosh, that must really stuck with some people here. And gosh, we got lots of people on here, so this is great. With that, let's go ahead and jump in to Top 5 Tuesday and our Top 5 Products of the Week. And in the number 5 spot this week is our Air Cleaner Stud Kit from Joe's Racing Products. We love the quality of the products from, from Joe's. They do amazing. And this one, of course, you would screw this into the top of your carburetor. It's got this nice taper nut to lock it down. And then it has that special, like, I don't, I'm sure this is called something, but the special nut at the top. And what I like about it, it also has, see, it has like an O-ring gasket that's just built in there. Like, come on, there we go. Oh, look at that. Now we can actually see it maybe. There we go. Um, but this way it really locks down to the top of your air, air filter top. And that makes it so it just, you know, really sticks on there really nice. And with these tapered nuts, you can put them at the height of your air filter so you don't end up crushing your air filter. And, and I really like that. I think that's a great feature. So the Joe's Air Cleaner Stud Kit. Oh, and this is a stainless steel uh, bolt. And I think, gosh, I don't know how long this is. Let's see. Um, well, it's if I'm looking at an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper, I don't know. It's about eight and a half inches. It's not exact, but let's see here. The piece of paper, and it's about it's pretty close. It's right around. Oh, it's probably closer to like eight inches. So um, I'm. Just stop there and then next up in the number four spot this week is a great product that we love from daytona one and that is our daytona one xl1 engine treatment now this is used as an oil additive and the way it works is it binds at a molecular level to any of the ferrous metals so any of the iron you know and of course iron and engine blocks and iron is always going to have like jaggedy ends on it and this will bind at a molecular level make it a smoother slicker surface so it cuts down on friction and anytime we cut down on friction we can cut down on heat and we can also free up more horsepower at least that's what we're looking for in our race cars and in towing vehicles or i even use this in my personal car because of the reduced friction it actually gives me better gas mileage so i know a lot of customers last summer started using this in their towing vehicles and or we're finding some good results so the daytona one xl1 engine treatment it runs for the 16 ounce we also have it is a 64 ounce but the 16 ounce runs 24.95 all right next up in the number three spot is a product from Schaefer's and that is our Schaefer's oil and this what's popular the number three spot this week is our Schaefer's oil in the case so there's 12 
quartz in a case. And we love the quality of this oil. I mean, it's great performance, but it's also at a very reasonable price point. So for a case of 12, it's 104.49. And I forget what that is as a price point. So let me grab my calculator here and divide it by the 12. And that gets us down to 871 a quart. So pretty darn good for especially for erasing oil. And that is our shapers. It's a 1030. And we found that this is a great weight to use in crane engines. All right, next up in the number two spot is our Walker air filters. So this is a four inch air filter. Or at least we call it a four inch because the element itself is four inches it ends up being taller we do love the urethane it creates a really nice seal on here it is an oiled filter it comes pre-oiled and so that way when you get this you can pull it out of the box and put it right on the race car and you're ready to go and so our walker air filter it's also cleanable so you can clean it wash it i know a lot of guys like to have two of them so they can have one that's drying um, while they've got one on the car and just kind of switch them out week to week you know lots of different options on that but where your walker air filter these run 99 dollars all right and in the top spot this week is a pop it's it's popular i mean it was popular last week too and that is day lube uh, we love day lube it comes in a few different ways it comes in a one ounce syringe which i did not bring out today um that runs 16.79 for a one ounce syringe and that syringe is great because then you can use it for precision greasing of your bearings or anywhere else where you would need precision greasing otherwise the 16 ounce and um, that's these right here these run 45.79 whether it's a jar or a tube this way you can put it into like a caulking gun or you can you know just like pull it out of here and the day lube it's a white grease so there we go you can see it's white and it's called a nano ceramic grease as is, is um, a nano ceramic racing grease so very popular um, a lot of guys use it with their bearings and you can use it pretty much anywhere you would need to use grease and again 45.79 so those are our top five products for uh, let's see, February 12th, that's 2019. And let me take a look at the comments and see if we have any questions over here. And are we getting blurry again? I see someone is blurry. Let's see, uh, then do they sell a longer fuel log than for the four barrel? Rob, that's a great question. Um, I don't necessarily have a longer fuel log as far as the whole thing, but my four barrel kit actually comes with an, a longer uh, hose so that you can use that between between the areas where your fuel log would be. So it's not the entire fuel log, it's just that hose piece that's longer. And so my kit does include that. Um, and that's why it's more than double because it's the, the whole kit. Um, and I've got someone here from Canada and there we go, through nut. Oh good, I learned a term today, through nut. Uh, let's see, um, great. Um, next week's sign. <laughs> I love it. Um, Bill, thank you for the idea for next week's sign. I like that. So I'll have to write that down. Well, great. With that, we have a ton of comments and I need to bring up my random number generator here so that I can um, do that. And then I do have help today. So Alex, you could tell me how many people knew my sign in round two. Okay. Oh, total. Okay. Gotcha. Great. And 40s. Great. So we'll have an, a couple of answers for our winners in just a moment here. Get you that one. And so thank you for bearing with me here for just a moment. Great. And I will have winners in a moment here. So with that, I'm going to see if there's any other questions. Thank you for, for saying great show. I appreciate it. I do have a lot of fun with this show. I do look forward to it um, every week. I uh, look forward to interacting and be able to answer any questions. And what we're giving away, in case you missed round one <laughs> of Top 5 Tuesday, I'm giving away Crate Insider t-shirts. So is that the first one? So for the first one, um, that for a random comment is a Nick Carter. So Nick, if you would, please send me a private message with your address and also with your shirt 
size. And then in just a moment, we'll have the drawing. Uh, you guys really know the drill now with my sign. I love it. It's just, uh, you know, the funny thing is, it's like, I just picked it up. I was in like a CVS pharmacy, I think. And I was like, that's just too cute. And it felt like all Instagrammy. So I had to buy it because I don't even remember 10 or 20 bucks, whatever. And then it didn't have enough letters. So then I went shopping on Amazon and then I had to go buy more letters. <laughs> and um, it was, uh, was fun. So great. And we have a winner, another winner here. So that is Hagen Daryl. And I know you've been a winner before, but if you could, please actually send me another message with your address and your shirt size, and I will get that out to you. And I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me on Top 5 Tuesday. I know this is the middle of the work day, and I really appreciate you being here. I re really appreciate you being part of Crate Insider. And I will look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at 2 o'clock for Top 5 Tuesday. Have a great week.